Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do an easy smoky eye. And I had this same eye on in a recent video and a lot of you were asking me to do a tutorial on that look. So I tried to match it up. I see that it looks a little bit different. It actually looks a little bit more intense, but the steps are the exact same. Same. So in today's video, we're going to be using all drugstore products and it's super simple, super easy, definitely beginner friendly. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I created this very easy wearable smoky eye, then let's go ahead and jump right in. So I usually like to use a color on the lid that pretty much matches the lid and I went ahead and put some concealer and setting powder um, on so that way it can act as a primer. But I'm going to start out with the Maybelline. City mini palette this one is the high-rise sunset and we're just gonna take this soft taupe brown looking color I don't know what to call it but this really pretty soft brown right here and just pretty much put it all over the lid and I'm just gonna take a small amount because this is very pigmented you don't want too much on the lid and just kind of just pretty much pat it and rub it or blend it <laughs> just tap it on the lid and then kind of buff it into the crease As you guys can see, it's just a really pretty soft color. And then I just like to lightly blend it up towards the brow bone, very, very lightly. So that way it can look, you know, well put together. So we're done with that. Now it's time to go in with a liquid eyeliner. Now you can use whatever liquid eyeliner you choose. I pretty much prefer to use a matte one. And this is by Essence. It's called their Super Last Matte black eyeliner and you can pick these up from Ulta um, you can also pick up the brand from Target so we're gonna make a wing and I'm gonna try to wing it because I'm not using any tape I'm not using anything I'm just gonna go ahead and make my wing without having anything to guide it but you know whatever and let me just say I don't know why this is curled like this I don't know it does come straight for those of you who are interested in buying this eyeliner but I don't know why mine curled like that but it still applies really good so I just like to start right here in the middle I'm gonna try not to talk while I do this right there now I'm gonna tell you guys my trick I don't know if this works for everybody but the way I create a wing is I like to raise my eyes like this and then place the eyeliner right here where my eye creases like where it meets like the top lid and the waterline like right there in the center where they meet so I raise my eyelids and then put the point right there where they meet and then kind of flick it out if you, I don't know if you guys saw that but just kind of lightly flick it out and then I'll take it and go at the point of the wing and bring it down into the lid like bring it down into the center of the lid not the center of the lid but y'all know what I'm talking about like that and then I'll go in right here you guys can see that there is a gap so I'll just fill it in now a lot of people like to do their wings differently this is just how I prefer to do mine and then I pretty much just trace the top of my lash line now I will say it is okay if you mess up because we are gonna be going over everything with a black shadow which you guys will see in a minute but as you guys can see that is my wing or however it is i guess it looks good i don't know but now that it is on you guys see that this dries down pretty quick it's really matte and i love it so i'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and i'll be right back all right so this is my wings and i feel like they look a little crooked but it's okay because we are gonna be buffing everything out and i feel like it's gonna come together at the end so you can either take a black shadow or a really dark like a really really dark brown which is what I'm about to do I'm not gonna take black because I feel like with black you can easily mess up the look so first if you want to start out you can use a brown um, because it's not as deep as a black so I'm gonna be taking my elf eyeshadow palette this is the um, rose gold sunset this is what it looks like once you open it up it's so cute so I'm just gonna take the dark brown in the palette which is the darkest shade and I'm using my pencil shader brush and this is from my brush set so if you guys haven't checked out my brushes I will have the link down below in my description but there is a set of six 
makeup brushes. So you have face brushes and also eye brushes. I did collab with a black owned business to create my very own brush set. So again, I will have the information down below. But yeah, I'm gonna take my pencil shader brush. I really like this because it's super, super soft and it's very comfortable on the eyes. So if you are buffing out a shadow on your bottom, like around the, um, the waterline is very soft, very comfortable, and it does a great job with blending that shadow out. All right, so I looked up and my clip was super dark, but um, this is the fun part. So what I do is take my brush and dip it into the darker shade. And I went ahead and did it already because like I said, the clip got really dark and I didn't realize it until I looked up. But this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna take the brush, dip it into either the brown or the black, whatever dark shade that you choose, and you are going Going to focus it on top of the um, on top of the eyeliner so you want to make sure that the brush is touching the wing and also a little bit on the lid where you didn't even apply the eyeliner so that way it can blend in the wing and also on the lid so that way it can look nice and soft and faded now to make this easier, if you want to use a um, like an eyeliner pencil, you can definitely do that because it's definitely gonna be easier to blend with that shadow. But I prefer to use a matte eyeliner because it stays in place and I feel like if I blend too much, the eyeliner will pretty much disappear. So um, yeah, you can use whatever eyeliner you want, but I just prefer to use a liquid matte eyeliner because I want it to stay in place. Now you can definitely stop right here, but what I like to do is go in with the black shadow. So I don't really like to start out with the black shadow because like I said, black is very, very intense and you can easily mess up the look. So now I'm gonna go into my Milani Gilded Desires palette and this has a really good black shadow. So that's pretty much why I picked it up. And I'm gonna take this black shadow in here, lightly tap my brush in there because this black is very, very intense. And we're pretty much just gonna do the same thing just go over the eyeliner and also a little bit on top of the lid to kind of blend everything together. And then I just gradually go further up really lightly. Now what I like to do is take my um, E40 brush that we used in the beginning and go back into the e.l.f. Cosmetics eyeshadow palette and we're going to go back into the darkest shade, lightly tap it on the brush, very lightly because this is super pigmented. Just focus it right in this area and drag it into the crease. This just makes it look more edgy and more smoky. Now you don't have to do this step. Um, you can definitely skip out on that step. And since I don't have another brush close by, I'm just gonna pretty much wipe whatever is on this brush off. Make sure it's good and clean to where none of the product comes off. And then go over the eye again. Let me just make sure it's all off the brush. Just go over everything again at the very top, blend it all together up towards the crease, not the crease, but the, um, the brow bone, so there are no harsh lines. Now I'll go into the waterline using my L'Oreal Silkaseam or Silkaseam. I always get that name wrong, but um, this is one of my favorite drugstore eyeliners. It glides on really easily on the waterline, so I'm gonna take this, put it on my waterline, and then I'm gonna go back into the e.l.f. Cosmetics palette and pick up the shade right before the darkest shade that we use in this palette, which is this brick red looking color. I like using that color because it blends really easily with a black eyeliner. It doesn't look too dark. It doesn't look too vampy. It just looks perfect blended in with a black liner. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. All right, so I went ahead and applied my lashes and the lashes that I'm wearing are by Bellamy. The style is called Seeing Double. So now I'm just going to go ahead and highlight the inner corner of my tear ducts. You guys know I love to do that. So I'm just going to go into the Milani Gilded Desires palette and pick up what shade do I want to use I guess I'll use this pretty gold right here that one right there all right so this completes my simple easy wearable smoky eye and again like I said this one is a little bit more intense than the one that was in my recent video but the steps that I took was the exact 
same. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I also hope that it was helpful for those of you who have been wanting to create a simple, easy, wearable smoky eye. So let me know if you guys have tried out any of the eye products that I shared in today's video. Let me know if you tried out the e.l.f. eyeshadow palette, um, any of the eyeliners that I tried out. Just let me know if you've already tried out any of the products that I featured in today's video. Let me know if you like them. Let me know if you don't like them. And also let's go ahead and leave your suggestions down below in the comments on any eye product that you think I may like. So any eyeliner, any eyeshadow, just anything that is supposed to go on the eyes. You guys know I would love to know your suggestions and I would also love to try products that I have not tried before. So let's go ahead and leave them down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you thumbs it up. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.